The arena story has lasted almost as long as the quest to replace the Alaskan Way Viaduct. And based on today's vote, you could likely soon see groundbreaking on a mega project at Seattle Center after years of discussion. That we are on a collision course with time. Has it really been that long? We did not get involved to lose $60 million and with no light at the end of the tunnel. More than 12 years. The Key Arena re model has been available for four years. 12 years of talks about where to put a new building. It's been talked about for several years, but would it be something that would be viable for I, an NBA I'm, arena? In the I'm, I'm not going to talk about how many angels you can fit upon the head of a pin because this is a perpetual subject. Pull down the mic. Jana Kaczynski wasn't alive when the debate got started. I think hockey is really fun. I've been playing hockey for six years. The 11 year old was front and center today. I've always wanted to have an NHL team here and I've always had to go up to Canada a lot. The council's committee on civic arenas approved final transaction documents for the $700 million privately financed plan to build a 750,000 square foot complex on the key arena site. A vote of 7-0 also paves the way for a procedural vote on the 24th, construction to begin shortly after that. Well, this has been a, a, a long and arduous process. Seattle Hockey Partners CEO Todd Lightwick. One by one, and I, uh, my mantra in the office has been one miracle at a time. And um, I think after 14 years, perhaps this uh, qualifies as a minor miracle to get to this point. Lightwick and his investors will use the deal to persuade the NHL in October to award an expansion franchise to the city. And our case is strengthened because of today. It's strengthened because of local investors and uh, I can't wait for that day to come. I did not feel any pressure because I did not, um, I haven't made any promises or guarantees to anybody, in particular NHL. Going on for 18 months. The Council member Deborah Juarez says it may be finally an end to the tale. I think it's some sunshine, it's some light at the end of the tunnel. For Jaina. I love playing it. It is quite literally <laughs> the story of her lifetime. <laughs> the deal now includes a clause for the NHL to award the franchise to Seattle before demolition can begin at the Key Arena site. The NHL meets with the Seattle group in October back in New York City, but may not make that call officially until later on in the year. Like Wiki said today, he does not believe that will be a problem with completing the project by 2020. Live in the King 5 newsroom, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.